Well, how was that, everybody? Isn't that a great piece of music to just get you going? I'm trying to... Here we go. There we go. On to the right screen. To say I'm a little bit excited would be an understatement. And I would just like to say to people, we have an absolute tiger by the tail here. I've never been in this position in my life where I can go and sit down and talk to people about gold and touch it, feel it, wave it around, understand what our financial position is now, what it's going to be next year and the year after. I'm absolutely astounded. And, yep, Janet, that's a great question to Miss Kate. How do you get your picture in the profile? I think I did that. How did I get the gold rocks picture there? Hmm, not sure. But maybe we should have a little Zoom meeting one night and get Miss Kate to show us how to do that. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to touch on a couple of things that are absolutely pertinent and time sensitive. And I know if you're having trouble with the process and you're calling Carrot Bar support, that you will be on hold for ages. You will probably not get answers to your questions at the moment. Uh, this company is accelerating into the future at a rate of knots and some of the things that are happening they did not envisage. Be that as it may, we've had an amazing six months. If you've been with, with us for that six months, uh, it's been a fun ride. And yet there have been things that went wrong. There have been questions we didn't get answers to. There have been things that broke. There have been opportunities we missed because the button didn't work. You know what? I look back on where I was in May last year. Actually, May this year. It's still 2019 right now. I look back to May in 2019 and think it was probably the lowest point in my life. And today, we're at probably the highest point in my life. And I know that I'm not saying that it's just about me. What I'm saying is we have all shared in that. We've all had that same opportunity. So tonight, we just wanted to touch on some of the things that are imperative that you do. We will do our best to make sure that we get information to you as soon as we get it to hand. I'm not sure whether uh, we will know much more than you do, but we will send out what we get by email. So we're stuck in a time sensitive situation at the moment. I'm sending off emails to people who I think may have some influence to get some questions answered, but we haven't got those questions answered yet. So what we're trying to do is make sure that we give you the information as quickly as we get it. So tonight is just a bit of a run through and a reminder of what we have to do in the next few days. Forget about what's coming after the 15th. I'm talking about January 4th. January 4th, not 14th, 4th. So let's get into this and let's talk about it. Uh, let's see what happened to our brains trust. You might notice that they're a little bit askew and askance and that's possibly because there's been a drink or two consumed over the Christmas period. Because we've all had a great year. We have had an amazing year. And this coming into 2020, this is a life-changing event. 
So let's talk about our sponsors. We have Skippy Pest Control, Easy Shopping Cards and Love Day Vehicle Lubricants. They have been with us from day one. They've been with us through the dark periods and now we're into this new period. And every one of those three merchants you can see there will be K merchants. Oh, here we go again. Mm -hmm. uh, the Zoom has just decided once again that we're going to get kicked out in 10 minutes. This is unbelievable. Did this last week. Um, I've paid them a whole bunch more money, been on hold for hours, and yeah, got no idea. Anyway. Right, if we have to come back, I apologise. I don't know what else to do with this. Just try to keep going, Greg. Now, we have a couple of new sponsors that have come with us, Enzo's in Adelaide. If you have been to Adelaide and not gone to Enzo's, you have missed the experience of going to Adelaide. This is an amazing family-owned restaurant and Food is stunning. Drinks, amazing. Do not go to Adelaide without going to Enzo's. And Neil at Marketive Minds doing some work for us on the internet. So you'll see more of that coming in the, in the next few weeks. Let's just get this straight. This is our opinion. We're trying to give you what we've done and how we've done it. We are not trying to tell you that we represent Carrot Bars. But Carrot Bars mission is to bring gold to all the people to prevent debts. They're trying to get us all into the gold economy. And that's what happens when you shop with gold. 1920, 2019. How is it possible that a kilo of gold buys you a car? that many years apart. That's almost 100 years. It's 99 years. And a kilo of gold still buys you the same. Show me something else in the world that works like that. So gold, portable, durable, divisible, fungible. Yes, fungible, freely exchangeable. And today we had the opportunity to have a meeting with a gentleman who talked to us about when the economy collapses. And it was so enlightening to be meeting with a guy who understood what we talk about on a weekly basis. He knew exactly what we were talking about as we did when he spoke. It was really, really cool. So, just understand, we're not out there on our own. The guy we met with today was not a member of Carrot Bars, but he has a lot of gold and silver himself. So this is the Carrot Bars universe. Carrot Pay, that is transitioning onto the blockchain. So you can use your phone to pay with gold. Carrot Gold, they're the people that make cash gold. I've got a few notes in my wallet. Carrot Net, the new blockchain that the company owns. The K Merchant System, our own ecosystem for retailers that can accept crypto and gold payments. The Wim Laptop, they've just announced a $1 million reward if you can crack that laptop or that phone, a million dollars. There'll be a few people have a go at that. But I suspect they're pretty confident it can't be done for them to be throwing a million dollar reward around. The cash exchange machines, if you've got a WIM laptop, it can be set up as a CEM as well. You can walk up to it, spend crypto, get gold out, put cash in, get gold out, all that sort of stuff. Carrot Bit, 
where you can do your own trading. And that is the characters universe. So tonight, we want to talk about the opening of the Gold Standard Bank. Now, there's a whole lot of information we do not have about this. A whole lot. There is a PDF that talks about the Gold Standard Bank in the back office, in the download section. The issue is, it's about two years old. I want to know what the bank is going to do next year, not two years ago. So it's impossible for us to make a qualified decision on how we petition our coins as we look at, do we get equity or do we transition into the new KBC? I'm not going to give you a suggestion. I'm going to tell you how I came to the number I came to. You decide what you think is a fair assessment. If I was to look at what I think of what the bank is doing, I've got to tell you I'm excited about it. It is an amazing outcome for us all if we have any equity at all. Now, I suspect there'll be other opportunities to buy equity in this bank going forward. I don't know what the new packs are going to look like. I don't know what the new packages will be. Here's what I decided to do. I looked at what they've talked about the Gold Standard Bank achieving. I looked at how many coins I have accrued over the last six months. And I decided to come up with a number. And that number was 10%. Now, why did I pick 10%? Well, what I decided to look at was, okay, what if this doesn't work? What if the bank doesn't work? Can I afford to lose 10% of my coins? Yes, I think that's a fair number to pick. I'm not telling you to pick 10%. What I'm telling you is think about how much of your existing coins, of what you've worked for to achieve, how much are you prepared to risk in this environment. Now, personally, I think this bank idea is stellar. I cannot wait to get out of our banking system. Cannot wait. Uh, I see Skippy Jan on the call. She's just had a number of arguments and uh, heated exchanges and emails. And I, I'm not sure, but I even think that I heard Skippy Jan used a four-letter word today when she was talking about her bank. And uh, Kate, same. <laughs> Jan saying, you did indeed. <laughs> Look, these banks have lorded over us for far too long. And as soon as we can get into this gold standard bank, the happier I'm going to be. What I'm suggesting is you need to think about what is it that you're going to do? How many coins are you going to put in for equity in the bank? And that's a decision only you can make. I've made my number up, looking at my coins, decided I'm going to put that many coins in. Uh, spoke to a couple of people today that they picked their number as 50%. Okay. It's a number that you have to be comfortable with. And I don't know what the outcome is. I don't understand why the banks are doing what they're doing other than they're seeing the end of their reign coming. Okay, so I'm just going to touch on this bank again. I myself has ha have had issues with how the bank handled the payments that I've made to people in the last few weeks. And what's happened with the Royal Commission 
is we've enabled the banks to take even more control. The Royal Commission was supposed to make it better for us as consumers. But what it's actually done is enabled the banks to use the Royal Commission as a reason to seize your funds. And if you don't think that's happening, I can, I can tell you about 26, 37, $40,000 that I know of in the last few weeks that banks have seized. And this is just people that I know. Don't think you're immune. We need to get out of the banking system that's operating in this country as soon as possible. And I cannot tell you how happy I am to know that the Gold Standard Bank is launching. But I don't have the details. So I can't tell you to buy X amount of equity because it's gonna make you money down the road. I can't tell you to buy equity because of something. I don't have those answers. What I've chosen to do is to put in as much into equity as I'm prepared to risk. And I don't know why we need to do that any differently today. And as Dan just said, hope is what it gives us. And you're right, Dan. Having dealt with all of the grief that we've had in the last few months about how people have been mistreated, mishandled, lied to, funds frozen, money frozen, these banks are on their last legs. There was a, a news release from the Australian Reserve Bank chairman just a few days ago where he actually announced that the big four banks were on their last legs. With the advent of applications like we use today and the open banking platform, they are going to lose control of that industry. And as far as I'm concerned, it can't happen to a nicer bunch fast enough. So let's run through the process. Here's a date to remember. You have until the 4th of January, the 4th of January, to make a decision. Do you want to keep all of your coins and put them into new KBC? Now, when you do that, you get a 2.54 multiplier. Or do you want equity in the bank? Or do you want both? You can decide on both. But after January 4, any KCB placed on Carrotbit are only available as equity in the bank. Now, that may be a good thing in a year or two. But I can tell you it's going to lock up those coins for at least a year, maybe a year and a half, maybe two years. Now long term, that could be the best solution, but please understand you need to make that decision. I've chosen to have new coins and equity in the bank at the ratio that I've talked about. So January 5th, all restrictions on carrot bit are lifted. So what does that mean on January 6th in Europe? So that'll be Jan 7 here. I actually can't tell you because I don't know what they're going to do to release that. But it will mean we can buy and sell coins, we can convert to gold, we can do all that sort of stuff in carrot bit. It's a great outcome for us. So this is how you swap KCB for KBC. Notice the exchange button. So when you're on the KCB line in Carrotbit, you click on exchange, 
you pick a number and notice where the cursor is. These numbers fill from the right. Now this must be a German thing. At the number of times that I tried to do it from the left where I clicked on the left and typed in a number, it lets you put the first number in and then immediately goes back to the right. So save yourself the grief and the frustration. Click there on the right where you can see the cursor and put in your number and then just keep adding zeros till you get to where you want. Now notice that says 10KCB, you will receive the amount of 25.4KBC. So that's where your multiplier is. It's 2.54KBC for the coins we have today, KCBs. Now, once you've done that, you will notice that you will have another tab there. And it says KCB conversions. Now, I was in a car today and we got a phone call. My coins have disappeared. Well, he's done the conversion and then not looked at KCB conversions. You need to understand that they will show up under, when you open that tab, KCB exchanges, and there it'll tell you how many coins you have pending. So that on the 5th of January in Europe, you should be able to see that that number of coins are available. I don't know an easier way to explain it. Every KCB you have on CarrotBit or in carrot bars today needs to be exchanged into either KCB, uh, sorry, KBC, or vouchers. The vouchers give you equity. I know some of you want to vomit when you hear the word voucher. That's just from our history. So let's have a look at that. Let's convert some coins into vouchers and you'll see that here we now have vouchers pending and those vouchers tell us how much equity we're going to have now i don't know how many shares that converts to it means that you have the value of 10 kcb in that example that are now convertible into equity. So whatever number of coins you put into that, it will let you convert to equity. So please make sure that you understand how that works. Now that's all I want to present tonight. If you have any questions, if you have anything you want to ask about, please unmute or type, if you can type faster than me. And that's pretty easy, by the way. And let's talk this through because we are at an absolute crossroads. Hello, Mr. Cerevalli, I see you there. Whatever coins are transferred are automatically exchanged. What? Yes, that's correct. If you transfer coins into vouchers, you automatically get equity. If you don't transfer coins, if you leave them sit there, after January 5th, those coins will only be exchangeable for equity. And it happens automatically. So everybody needs to please make sure you talk to all of your people. Make sure they understand what we're dealing with. Make sure they understand that if they want all of their coins converted to equity, don't have to do anything. If you want some equity and some new KBC, you need to step in and follow that roadmap we just displayed. So, look, this has been 
a frustrating period because there's not been much information coming out. But in reality, if you sit back and look at this from the standpoint of what's the best thing for me, you need to work out how much equity you want. You need to work out how many coins you want to have control of. You'll still be able to buy the new KBC on the open market. You'll still be able to convert KBC coins into univals or bonus univals. None of that is going to change. Roger says after a person has linked their carrot bars account to their carrot bit account, how long do they have to wait before they'll see the coins in their carrot bit wallet? Short answer to that question, Rog, is I have no idea. I'm figuring that on the fourth they'll push everything across that is not yet converted and everybody needs to check their account to see what's in it on the fourth. So uh, I know there's 94,000 coins left in my carrot bars account that hasn't been pushed over yet and it's been there more than a week. So but I'm sure at some point they're going to sweep all those accounts and move them into carrot bit. Let's just see. Please make sure you keep an eye on it. Jenny saying that hers have all moved across. So that's good. I think for most people, they will have all moved across. Uh, there's a few people yet that it hasn't happened with. Um, Let's just make sure that we keep our eyes on those accounts. So how is everybody doing with that? Is there any questions around how to keep an eye on that? How are you getting on in Adelaide, Brad? You're getting all those gazillion coins that you created moved across? Skippy, you have to get the carrot bit KYCs done as well before selling coins. Yes, that's a good point. Uh, no, it's not because they haven't done bronze yet, Jen. Um, mine's all the way through to as high as you can get. And I've still got coins that haven't moved across yet. But I'm sure they will. I'm not stressing about it. I'm just going to get up on the fourth and decide what's happened. I'm just saying, his are all good, trying to help other team members. Yes, good idea, Rog. We're trying to get in touch with as many people as we can. I did two today, uh, help people get them moved across and we'll go from there. Yep, Brad's saying the same down there, he's, he's all good. And I know that would have been a task, Brad, because the number of coins you've got, I reckon it would have taken them about a week to get them all transferred. Uh, Mr. McCloskey, I know, is trying to get some chooks bought with his coins. And now he's saying he's going to use a truck to get the chooks. He's got so many of them on order. So ladies and gentlemen, take the time to get in touch with your team. Ask them to check their coin balance. And make sure that you um, understand what it is that you're looking at. Make sure you understand the difference between carrot bars and carrot bit. Mr. Sarah Valley is trying to make a comment, but he's sending it to me privately. Uh, I know that he's offering, it looks like he's offering to come up to Heritage Park and build a chook pen, for Mr. McCloskey. So ladies and gentlemen, let me reiterate that. Please, please make sure you check with all your people that their 
Carrot bit account is linked to carrot bars. Make sure that they need to understand how much equity they want. Remind they need to be a gold member to move your team. Dan, I think you need to go back and type that again so I know what you're talking about. Gold member to move your team. Uh, no idea. Gold member to move. No, still doesn't make sense. So this is a really critical part of our roadmap, ladies and gentlemen. Please take the time to look around with your team. Make sure they understand the importance of deciding about the equity and the coins. And understand how valuable this business is. We had a fantastic meeting today with a gentleman who absolutely understood what we were talking about. Your screen, this Val saying, your screen said KCB by 25.4. That's correct, Val. That's, it was 10 KCB. So that's 25.4. It is 2.54. If you need any help with that, uh, give me a call tomorrow and we will talk you through that. So ladies and gentlemen, we're having another meeting tomorrow. We're trying to perfect our roadmap for the coming year. We will have more of an understanding of what's coming. But just understand, this is without doubt the most amazing business I've ever seen. And today was amazing to sit and talk to a guy who had, okay, how many ounces do you say he had, Dan? 3,000 ounces. I'm like, yep, 3,000 ounces silver. of silver and, and he had gold stocks as well. So once you get around these people who are financially stable through precious metals, it is amazing what they've achieved. Roger's saying he's wishing everybody an abundantly prosperous 2020. And that's exactly what we think as well. We hope everybody has a golden 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the cusp of financial freedom. Some of the people on this call have already achieved that in six months. Show me something else that you can do that with. We've got no more questions tonight. I think that's all we need to talk about. We all need to get back with our teams and make sure everybody's covered. Make sure you understand the importance of what we're doing and make sure that you understand how great this business is. Thanks everybody for joining us. And thanks Linda, thanks Jenny, Jan. Wow, great team, great teamwork, great effort. We look forward to seeing you on the golden beaches of the world next year. By the way, that's only a few days away. Happy New, Happy New Year everybody. And let's make sure that we hit the road running in January. Thanks everyone, thanks Janet, thanks Roger. Cheers everybody. We will see you on the golden beaches of the world. Have a great night.